Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, so some of you may have heard the term medical massage and be wondering how this differs um, from other types of massage. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, you know, medical massage is um, a specific massage that targets specific problems following diagnosis. Um, you know, in order to reach a desired outcome. It uh, focuses on uh, the specific area affected by a health condition and combines various types of massage therapy, um, you know, in order to um, reach that outcome. Uh, so it may involve uh, myofascial release, neuromuscular massage, uh, manual trigger point therapy, sports massage, deep tissue, or Swedish, um, possibly even manual lymphatic drainage. Um, so while medical massage can be relaxing, it uh, will differ from Swedish massage in the following ways. Um, one, it uses a wide variety of techniques that we've just mentioned uh, to target the specific medical needs. Uh, and two, it is focused on a specific outcome uh, as opposed to a general sort of relaxation overall kind of effect. So these medical outcomes uh, may include pain management, uh, reducing inflammation, improving circulation, uh, relieving nerve compression, increasing flexibility, improving digestion, all number of things. Um, and when you have a medical massage, uh, the therapist uh, will provide a, you know, specific follow-up recommendations in a targeted treatment plan um, with recommendations for timed visits. Uh, this type of massage can also be used as a preventive measure against chronic pain conditions developing um, by addressing trigger points and soft tissue injuries. And so this is where things like uh, issues such as fibromyalgia, for example, um, you know, can can really be benefited. And I've actually done a video on fibromyalgia. So if that applies to you, um, go ahead and uh, watch that one too. Um, so what are the benefits of medical massage? Well, I mean, as with any massage, uh, stress relief. Uh, we know massage relaxes muscle tissue, which carries stress, uh, and also um, the massage inhibits the release of cortisol and norepinephrine and adrenaline, which are your stress, you know, hormones. They trigger the stress response, that fight or flight response in the body. Uh, pain relief. Um, you know, many health conditions are associated with pain and medical massage certainly can help reduce pain levels by working out the knots in the muscles and imbalances, um, reducing spasms, releasing toxins, um, and just generally improving overall muscle function. Um, but it can also help to close the pain gate and change the way the body perceives pain. And in the future, I will be doing again a video on uh, the pain gate theory and how massage can help with chronic pain. Um, another benefit of medical massage is alleviating headaches, um, neck and shoulder pain, pinched nerves, uh, stress can all cause headaches. So by reducing pain and muscle tension, stress, and by stimulating the nervous system um, and also the circulatory system, massage can then help ease headaches. Um, reducing inflammation. We know inflammation can result from intense workouts or medical conditions, and massage can certainly help improve this 
um, uh, by, by its effect, you know, on blood flow and circulation, and also um, the way in which massage increases mitochondrial production. And again, there is already a video up about um, massage and the mitochondria. So take a look at that one uh, and it will explain everything. Um, improved flexibility by reducing um, hypertonicity or hypotonicity. So that's high or low muscle tone. Uh, medical massage lowers the risk of uh, disc degeneration um, and also helps to restore normal range of motion in the joints. Um, and in terms of um, muscle tone, um, certainly this is where my work on uh, children with cerebral palsy um, really comes in um, because uh, I mean, there are many benefits um, to cerebral palsy, which again, I will do in a video separately. Um, but certainly the effect on the muscle tone um, can really be a huge benefit. Um, medical massage can be used to treat injuries. Um, so, um, you know, just to assist with healing and again, improve uh, movement um, following, you know, inflammation. Um, sort of during uh, times where the joints are injured. Uh, preventing muscle ischemia. Um, so again, by re releasing muscle tightness, um, medical massage, it breaks down all those knots and all that sort of old blood cells and things that are kind of clogging up the muscle tissues um, and um, therefore prevents ischemia of the muscles. Um, which, uh, you know, if, if, if you have ischemia, it can result in uh, hypersensitivity and also in, in increased tissue injury risk. Um, and we know certainly, you know, with sports massage and deep tissue by breaking down the muscle knots, you know, you're then allowing new blood flow to come into that muscle um, with oxygen and nutrients. Um, which again helps with the healing process. Um, improving blood circulation, we know massage increases blood and oxygen and nutrients to the tissues, which as I said just promotes healing, but also improved uh, lymphatic circulation. So improving elimination of waste from the cells, um, boosting the immune system, um, which, you know, will optimise cell regeneration and overall health. Um, improving digestion, um, you know, massage will improve uh, and, and stimulate the peristalsis in the bowel and therefore assist with removal of waste and toxins, preventing, um, you know, constipation and regulating bowel movements regulating the contraction of the bowel, um, you know, and therefore helping to prevent some of these, uh, you know, digestive uh, disorders. Um, increasing energy, which, you know, as a result of some of these digestive problems, you can, you know, feel really sluggish and, and tired. Um, but so through the effect on the digestive system and, and other systems of the body, you know, medical massage can increase energy, induce a positive sleep pattern, you know, which then helps the client to, you know, feel able to do more, um, you know, than their medical condition usually allows. Um, another uh, benefit of medical massage um you know, an in increased sense of calm, um, you know, we know that massage reduces anxiety and helps with hyperactivity, um, which can be real issues when you have a long term medical condition. But, you know, massage can help release any repressed sort of negative emotions um, and just clear the mind, which again, alongside sort of that boosted energy level will really just help you 
uh, deal um, with the symptoms and manage your condition, um, you know, better on a daily basis. Um, we've talked about the effect on the muscles. Um, so medical massage will also look at improving the posture. Um, which of course can result from injury and you know illnesses, areas of tension, and you know various medical conditions. Um, but by relieving tension in the neck and shoulders and spine, you know the posture can be corrected. Um, obviously, there are always going to be conditions such as maybe spondylitis, or if you've had a, a sort of chronic condition and then had spinal surgery, you know, that maybe hasn't gone quite as expected, you know, it is possible that, um, you know, postural changes might not always be helped, but um, certainly um, in a lot of cases it can be. Uh, relaxing the nervous system. So, by um, relaxing the nerve endings, massage will improve the function of the nervous system, um, which in turn is going to have a knock on effect on the whole body. Um, and also, you know, relief um, of a compressed nerve, um, which often is, is caused by muscle tightness, uh, you know, but also various medical conditions can cause nerve compression. Um, for example, sciatica. So again, medical massage can um, you know help relieve this compression. And uh, finally, myofascial uh, trigger point deactivation uh, is uh, another benefit. Um, Medical massage can ease referred pain uh, and it does this by deactivating trigger points and those areas of increased neurological activity, um, you know, which in turn prevents a sort of overstimulation of the muscles, um, you know, and increased sort of pain sensitivity as well. So uh, what are, you know, common conditions? I mean, the list is endless, um, but certainly the most common conditions that can be treated through medical massage um, would be things like arthritis, uh, maybe carpal tunnel syndrome, sciatica, uh, fibromyalgia. Uh, symphysis pubis dysfunction um, in pregnancy, uh, which there, there is a video on already up here on my channel. Um, but not all uh, therapists, as I always say, um, are experienced or qualified to deal with these um, medical issues. So it really is important to ensure that you ask a lot of questions and that you see a massage therapist who is qualified and who is experienced in your particular issue. Um, feel free to um, message me um, to see either how I can help or if I can answer any questions. Um, you know, to help you manage your symptoms. Uh, you can do that through Instagram or Facebook um, or comment down below and I will come back to you. Um, but yeah, so that is basically um, how medical massage differs. Um, so uh, yeah, for me today, that is pretty much it. Um, Feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will see videos on some of these uh, medical conditions that um, we've mentioned today. So fibromyalgia, SPD, um, that I'll always also be doing one on uh, sciatica um, in a little while as well. Um, and uh, But for now, uh, from me, that's all. So I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.